Uh, here's a new video for you uh, YouTube subscribers. Uh, basically what I have here is I built myself a homemade dowel key. And uh, just a bunch of used parts laying around the shop uh, is what I made this out of. And uh, to uh, explain to you what a dowel key is used for, and then I'll explain to what each piece is. Um, basically this is so you can switch from a transceiver to a receiver. Or in my case, uh, basically I used a Madison. Uh, that's uh, a radio I've been using here lately with my hi-fi setup. And um, I wanted to uh, dab a little bit with this uh, thing called SDR radio. And basically I picked up a receiver and I've uh, been kind of playing with that a little bit and think it's kind of cool. But uh, basically uh, I made this so I can switch between uh, the receiver and uh, the Madison. So what we have here is, is this is going to be radio hookup. This is where your antenna coax would go to or your out to your amp or whatever. And then this is where the SDR is going to hook up to. And then down here on the bottom, that's where my 12 volt power goes to. And then I have a light here to tell me that it is uh, turned on. Um, on the opposite side here, you see this little plug here. I haven't rigged this in yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it yet or not. But this is so I can mute the receive in case I get an excessive talk back or something through uh, the computer. Now I'll check that out um, when I get it all hooked up and see if I have to do that or not. And that's not real hard to do. You just mute the speaker out. Uh, but basically all I did is I took a 5 amp relay. I didn't think I needed much more than a 5 amp with just a, a radio going into it. And uh, wired in like a uh, small style key in circuit. Kind of like what they put in amps but uh, a little different. Um, built it a little differently. Um, and uh, you know we don't want it to hold open too long or anything so uh, it's uh, basically uh, milliseconds that it closes up and uh, you know you wire it in uh, it's pretty simple radios here going in on one side antennas in the center and then the SDR radio will be on this side and uh, of course over here you get your 12 volt power in your key circuit and then the other side of the relay I use for muting if I have to do that and then I'm still left with an open pin up here which I could do a couple different things with that. I could probably ground it or use it for uh, something else if uh, if I decide to. I had some thoughts, but uh, that's later on. So basically, let me give you a demo of how this is going to work. And uh, basically, uh, this is my dummy load. So we're going to plug that in. And this is going to the Madison. So we're going to plug that in. I don't have the SDR wired up over on this side yet. So uh, I'm not even going to really worry about that. My primary thing was is to uh, just see if this was working. Now I did what I did here. A pretty slick thing is, is I made this cable up. And this is for my 12 volt power. I did use an old speaker uh, lead. Um, and that's basically going to plug in right in here into the back. Uh, give me a second. Okay. That's all plugged in. And uh, basically I put a uh, just radio plug on it. And what I did is, you know, I, I never understood why they did this with these radios. But they put a 12 volt jack right here on the back of the radios. Um, and that's if you wanted to run this uh, type of radio in your mobile, which I would never do. So what I did is I converted the jack off of uh, the switch here so it receives a 12-volt constant. So I can hook up any accessory I ever wanted to to the radio. Just utilizing a feature that was already built into the radio. And basically I'm going to take that and just plug it right into it. And it's going to give me my uh, 12, 13 volts that I need for the relay. So basically radio's off. <clears throat> oh, also I did add, add a ground lug just in case I ever have to add a ground to this. And then I had an extra spot here. This was an old, like I said, everything was uh, built around what I had laying around the shop here. Um, I believe probably the only thing new in it is probably the ferret bead, one of these uh, jacks, and the BNC connector. The rest of the stuff I just got out of different things. Made out of a bunch of used parts. But uh, basically, uh, we turn the radio on. As you see, the radio's on. And if... Uh, we turn this around you see my little yellow lights there now I'm thinking about taking maybe this hole here and putting the light there telling me uh, you know when the relays keyed and when it's not keyed and I thought about that I haven't done it yet let me uh, throw a mic in here real fast and uh, throw this on and okay What happened? Well, ain't this funny? 
Am I not plugged in all the way? There it is. Huh. I don't know what that was about. I was going to say, it must have just been the wiggling of the plug. But, there we go. And, I don't have it doing a whole lot of watts. I think it's two watts. And let me see, we'll fire up the test center. As you see, it moves the needle. That's all I need it to do is just key. And that's, and that's what you want. You want a slight delay in it, and that's about it. So, can have time to switch between the uh, transceiver and the receiver. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions on uh, on the build on this, I'll be more than happy to help you out with it. Have a great one.